Hello fellow cosplayers and welcome back to my channel. So in today's video, if you guys saw by the title, I will be doing a scary leprechaun vid video for St. Patrick's Day. I know that I know that my British accent sounds terrible. Don't don't at me at that. It's just it's it's terrible. That's all I can say, it's a terrible accent. But anyway, so in today's video, yeah, as you saw by the title, I will be turning myself into a scary leprechaun in honor of St. Patrick's Day. This was actually requested by this one YouTuber, um, this one of my followers, her name is, uh, I forget her name was, but she, um, I asked her, are there any videos that I, that you would like to see me do, and, or looks you'd like to see me recreate, and she said, she gave me two, she gave me Godzilla and a scary leprechaun for St. Patrick's Day, and I thought, well, since it's St. Patrick's Day, I thought, yeah, I'll do a scary leprechaun look, but not only. This is going to be start of a new series that I will be doing on my channel. Now, so, as aside from makeup, I like horror. You guys know that. I love horror movies. I used to hate them, but now I love them. I cannot wait for, like, like the what horror movies I'm going to see this year. For Halloween, I I know, but I do kind of know what horror movies I've seen because are coming out this year. But as well as that, I like as well as makeup and horror. I also like reading like stories, like creepy pastas in my spare time. Well, very little spare time. I like listening to creepy pastas, horror stories. Uh, researching urban legends, uh, researching about true crime stories, and true paranormal events. These are what I love. These are my passion. These are what keep me up at night. I absolutely love anything that's horror. So I thought as a little entertainment for you guys, I did see this one YouTuber. Her name is Cat Sketch. S shout out to Cat Sketch. She is an amazing uh, uh, makeup artist as well as artist. I have been following her for years and I love her work. But she now is starting to incorporate incorporate. Uh, uh, talking about like horror stories and different myths in her makeup and I really like that idea and that's kind of where I got oh I went in a focus just a little that's kind of where uh, never mind uh that's kind of where I just got that idea because I thought that would be a very awesome thing to incorporate in the look because I did want to start doing stuff about paranormal on my YouTube channel, but I didn't want to sacrifice makeup because makeup is my babe. So I decided I would do that and I will link Kat's uh, YouTube channel in the description so you guys can go and follow her because she is been the inspiration for this uh, new series-ish thing that's starting on my YouTube channel. But anyway, so starting off, what I'm going to do, I am going to be reading uh, some, depending on how, I might do one or I might do two, but uh, creepy stories off of Reddit. Uh, creepy stories caught off of Reddit. Hopefully these videos don't, taken down, don't get taken down, um, but I will give the person credit and they do say it's loyalty free so whatever uh but yeah stories off of reddit 
and um which i which one of them are true so i'm uh very excited for that about uh about uh horror stories that take place in forest about like creepy forest exper experiences i was gonna do this i was gonna do like more like a tree monster tree thing for this look but then i but then when i saw that request and with saint patrick's day coming out i thought yeah this i i i still think a leprechaun could work because i i think of nature when i think of leprechauns so yeah and i have my hair very tight back because i will be doing a lot of cotton and latex today i should have blocked out my eyebrows man it's supposed to be a scary leprechaun but it's not uh supposed to but i'm actually not gonna do the one from the movie i it might look similar, but it's mine is gonna be just kind of original. It might look similar, but my intentions aren't to be the one from the movie Leprechaun, which I haven't seen. I, um, but that's not my intention. It's my intention to be original one. If it turns out to look similar, that's okay, because some of my I did but it's referenced from that movie but it just it probably won't do it because the costume is a little bit jazzy I went to the dollar store they didn't really have that much to do it and I didn't I wanted to keep it locally here because I don't want to like I don't like traveling to like stores a lot when you have a lot of work to do but uh yeah so but yeah so with all of that out of the way before i get into this video be sure to subscribe to my channel because i will be doing uh if you want to see uh two videos monday and friday i do anything from beauty makeups to face and body painting cosplay tutorials, special effects, tutorials. I do everything from tutorials to also challenges. Anything that has to do with makeup, not just beauty, but also the really fun and gory. I do any anything from like crazy beauty makeups to more special effects stuff. But yeah, so it's a really fun time if you want to sit here and get artsy and creative with me. Be sure to hit the subscribe button and hit the notification bell to to keep you updated on every time I upload a new video. So, enough with the chit chat. Let's get into the tutorial. Okay, so this first story that I have is from Reddit from the user... Uh, cringy lord 420 and this story is called the true creepy woods uh, I mean creepy woods and it is apparently true so that makes it a lot more scary and I haven't read that yet so I'll probably get nightmares tonight okay so I don't really know how to start this story off but it just happened like an hour ago. I'm still spooked. So a bit of a preference. Me and my friend are home alone right now and have been for a few hours. Every time he comes over, we go to the woods by my house. And it's normally uneventful with some throwing rocks and breaking trees and stuff, harmless fun, but this time something else happened. Like I said, we're home alone and have been for a while and while this happened, we were obviously home alone. We went outside to go to the woods and trip on 
an onion and the trip was uneventful, but once we got there, something was off. Everything was dark. Tons of trees have been knocked down, and and in the entire place was not like I remember it being. We kept going on, still having our usual harmless fun. At one point, my friend turned to me and said, "We should, we should go back." I looked at my phone and decided it had only been 30 minutes, so we might as well stay longer because it'll be a few hours until anyone would want us home. We continued on finding a few strange things like an old crushed mountain, Ducan, probably probably 10 or 20 years old and a toy boat which which had been completely destroyed by the wind and water and other things and was probably even older than the can our plan was going further than I had ever been into the woods, I ever, which isn't very hard for us. I've because I've came to a landmark. I knew of the marked about the deepest I've ever been. A while ago, when I was going far in, I came upon. I came upon a bridge built on over the river in the middle of the woods. However, one thing was different. The there was something sitting on the top of it. It was small and resembled the head of an When we got closer it, and got a good view of it, it was a deer skull, hardly white and clean, sitting on the bridge with no clue as to who put it there. And and where the rest of it was behind the river. There was a huge hill with a creepy small house on it. And while we were looking around, I heard a creak or something other high pitched noise from up towards it. I freaked. We freaked out, we began to run, and from behind me I could hear my friend scream, and I hear him running behind. We both, we both kept running, and once we reached the edge of, of the woods, we stepped into the road and asked, I asked him why he screamed. And he said he heard footsteps next to him. We, click, we quickly made our way home. And when we got there, we, we saw got there, the garage door was open. Not knowing if we left it open or not, we ran inside, locking the door, checking the house, and turning the alarm on. Now, 
Now, we're sitting here. And by the time I finish this story, it's nearly two hours since. And I still can't shake the fear of that, of that eerie woods. From my mind. Next story I have is, from what I've seen, is not true. It is by user Lady N. And the story is called Something in the Woods. I guess I'll start with the background. I'm a 33 year old female, but this story takes place when I was a teenager living in the suburb of Chicago. The village I lived in was quite uh, middle class. We lived like a mile from the police station and the worst crime we had was a murder or two robberies. Once in a blue moon, 99% of the time Boring, and I, and more boring, unless you had a car. You were stuck just walking around the park at night with your friends. Kind of boring. Anyway, one night my girlfriend and I decided to go hang out at the park where with some guys at like 12 a.m. That night was a bit windy and had a full moon. I even got a kiss from the from that night from the boy I liked. But the night wasn't just fun. And hanging out with a playground and hanging out late, there was a deep forest in the park with the stream playground right next to it. The same playground we went to with swings and a jungle gym. And a jungle gym climbing. There's there's two bridges and one of wood that the the everyone uses. And, and the one bridge made of, made of rocks that rarely used because it is deeper in the forest. The stream connecting to the two halves of the forest park area. I'll get to the rock bridge in a minute. We hung around. I'll get to the rock bridge in a minute. We hung. We hung around the swings and chatted, and we spent and we spent the evening together. I'm sitting and looking around, talking and enjoying the peace and quiet and the moonlight. I have a full view of the forest and the deep earth of and the deep of the earth. I knew that I knew leads to the stream. I see something moving over I see something moving o over the the dip of the earth some dark shape it looked it looked like it was crawling out of the forest an arm then a longer arm it pulls itself out of the dip stream at a figure darker than suttering forest and i'm sitting there frozen I the ground, but it doesn't move. 
a flash of fear grips me. What if it comes this way? I looked to my friends and no one noticed anything. I looked back and it's gone. But, and it's gone. Did, did it go back or go somewhere? I really, I really wanted to get out of there. I really want to get out of there. Then one friend, did you, did you guys hear about the urban legend of the rock bridge over the stream? Apparently some kids or something played on the bridge and fell over and died. What a thing to say after what I saw, but I didn't know, but I didn't ask anything and just pretended I didn't see anything, but experience, but the experience struck with me. I never talked about it because my, because it must have been on my imagination. Things like that happen only in scary movies, right? I rarely went to the park after that. And... And, like thing, if you are real, I hope we never meet again. Who knows what would have happened if you saw me that time I saw you. I, okay, so I'm aware that I did not paint my hands. I uh, just like don't like. I know people are gonna be in the comp and they'll be like, "Oh yeah, you, she didn't paint her. She didn't paint her hands." Like, y yeah, cause like, cause I'm lazy. So yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed this look, and I hope you guys and I and I hope. For the person that requested it, I forget your YouTube channel name, I'll put it somewhere here. Uh, I hope you guys like, I hope you like my take on a scary leprechaun. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Eh, in, until next time. Bye. Bye. Be sure to send me your pot of gold in me mail, or I will come and take and take it for myself. <laughs>